If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to break down what we can from the Destiny 2 Rally the Troops trailer and fuck me was it absolutely epic. Okay so first off let's watch the trailer together and then I'll break this shit down for you. Times may be dark but we are Earth's greatest hope. Look around you. A gathering of noble guardians new and old. Okay listen up. Um... You're a bunch of dirty misfits, but you're all that's left, so you'll have to do. Our home was attacked. I was there and fought against the endless onslaught. It kept coming, so I kept firing. Not gonna lie, I was magnificent. Despite the sacrifice of many brave guardians, we lost everything. The tower, the city, our home. So, everything is gone. Your stuff, my stuff, most importantly, my stuff. Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G. Go. I know you look to me in times of peril, but this is not my battle alone. Which means if I don't see you out there, I'll kill you myself. It is time to avenge this injustice, for that is the duty of all guardians. Worst case scenario, you die. But who knows? Maybe you won't. So I ask you, who will stand with me? Yeah! Oh, really, guys? That, that was inspiring. Also, there will be a ton of loot! Yeah! Ah, yeah, right? That's what I thought. Pre-order and get beta early access. Okay, so we know the basic story of what's going down. The Red Guard have invaded, following their leader, Gaul, or Gary, as Cade says, which I actually prefer. Uh, they destroyed the tower, the last sea, everything, and left us with nothing. They stripped us of our power and forced us to flee. It's our duty to avenge what has happened, and we will venture into mysterious, unexplained worlds to discover an arsenal of new weapons and devastating new combat abilities. We must reunite and together defeat the Red Guard and confront goal and we must reclaim our home and that's basically what I get story wise from the trailer but let's look at other interesting points now we know it's the cabal we will be facing within destiny 2 but did you guys spot the kind of cabal hunting dogs what the fuck are those they look like a new enemy obviously ones which will chase our asses down even on our spells if spells are even a thing which they probably won't be as they think's been destroyed but man these fucking hunting dogs look as mean as fuck the trailer also makes it clear that we will be getting a fresh start within destiny 2 now we know this already but we clearly see the gunsmith's army being destroyed which in my opinion is an indicator on Bungie's behalf that we will see many new types of weapons which is awesome and many new weapons from out of this world which we will discover in our hunt for the Red Guard abilities too. Now I can point out numerous parts of the trailer where we do see weapons of odd shapes etc etc and so forth but this is a cinematic and well it doesn't really mean we will get what we see here. Now we do see our main new enemy, the leader of the Red Guard, his name is Ghoul. I'm calling this dude Gary, yes his name's Ghoul but Gary sounds better and it's easier to say. And damn he looks like a mean motherfucker, I mean just look at him, no doubt he will be a raid boss for sure. We also see this other big mofo who looks to be wielding two swords, we saw him in the first teaser trailer and now we're seeing him here. You saw a Coral Ray wasn't having any of that shit, she was like I'm getting the fuck out of here and I do not blame her. Now my favourite part of the trailer and in my opinion shows just one instance of many from this trailer where Bungie is trying to indicate that within this destiny story is key. We see what looks to be a titan helping a fellow lady and her kid. We then see the kid and the titan helping up a hunter out of the rubble and then the hunter looking on into the battle that lies ahead. Yes for sure it might be nothing major for you but to me it's a scene of many statements and man the hunter looks fucking epic. But yes guys that is it basically this story is meant to be a story trailer and that's what we get from it. As Deej not long after this trailer was dropped tweeted a roadmap for Destiny 2. He states that story was today which we got with the trailer, gameplay reveal which is in May which is massive news, a beta this summer which is also massive news and the release in September, September the 8th. 
He also states that there's much more to come this summer. So we will be getting a gameplay reveal in May, which I cannot wait for. This is going to be absolutely epic. And we also get a beta as well, which should be an experience in its own. Now moving on from the trailer, if you jump onto your Xbox or PlayStation and search the stuff, you will see all kind of editions you can pre-order. There is the standard edition, there's the game and the expansion pass, which shows two expansions, one which looks to be Osiris themed, and the other one seems to have a Warman logo on it. There is also a digital deluxe edition, which you can see on screen now, what you get with this. There's a limited edition and then there's the collector's edition. This is the one I will be purchasing for sure. And this is what you get with it. You get the base game, you get both expansions, offering brand new missions, cooperative activities, cooperative multiplayer and a wealth of new weapons, armors and gear. We get the Destiny 2 Frontier bag, a customizable bag that can be worn as a backpack or a messenger bag, a 15 inch laptop or tablet sleeve with a protective pocket slip, a Frontier kit featuring a solar panel USB charger with a built in light, a power cord, a solar blanket, we get a limited edition steelbook case which is a booklet with secrets into the Kabul's empire, a Kabul schematic, a collectible postcard images, Kabul military pawns, uh, premium digital content, you get a legendary sword, a legendary player emote and a Kabul Empire themed emblem. Man, I just cannot fucking wait. But guys, that is it for another video. If anything else comes forward, I'll have you guys covered right here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that bell notification next to that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And I will catch you on that next one. Always in the